Hello again, it's Dr. Mike here with another medical 3D printing tutorial. I've received a lot of uh, interest about uh, my last tutorial, which is how to make 3D printable muscle and skin files from medical CT scans. You can see that these are some of the files that we made. Um, and people have asked me how they can uh, create a hollow shell from these models. Uh, so, you know, these are life size uh, replicas of uh, a person's face or muscle. And um, if you want to 3D print them, this is going to take up a lot of material. But if you print the uh, the model uh, as a hollow shell, it will save a lot of uh, expense in terms of the material costs. And so what we're going to do today is take this model, which is uh, a figure of a head that was created from a medical CT scan of a real person and we're going to turn that into a hollow structure uh, using mesh mixer. This will uh, make 3D printing a lot uh, less expensive, consume a lot less material, and make the print uh, come out faster. So um, if, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my last tutorial on embody.com on how to easily create 3D printable muscle and skin STL files from medical CT scans. I'll put a link below in the description. And also, I'll put a link uh, that will allow you to download uh, this file, which is the file of the head so that you can follow along with this tutorial. So look for that link uh, below. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, take the, the head STL file and we're going to do this in Mesh Mixer. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this on Mesh Mixer and open the file. And it'll take a couple seconds to load. There are a lot of polygons. Uh, this this uh, file has 456,775 uh, triangles and 228,355 uh, vertices. So it's it's got a lot of uh, geometry in it. Uh, now, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some of this stuff. You can see that there's um, this uh, object element right over here that we don't want. I'm going to use the select button. I'm going to uh, select this and what you can do is you can expand your selection so that everything that is touching this orange region will be selected and you can do that by hitting the E key, E is an echo, or you can also uh, use this expand to connected uh, menu item underneath modify. So expand to connected and then I want to delete it and again uh, you can delete it uh, by using the X key or um, use the discard menu item underneath the edit uh, menu. So let's see where discard. Okay so now we got rid of that. Um, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the the top here and uh, use the select and I'm going to uh, make two holes, one on the top of the head and one on the bottom of, he of the head, and those are going to be uh, areas that will allow us to uh, uh, hollow out this, what is currently a solid uh, object. So um, I take this um, brush under select and you can adjust the size of this and just kind of create, highlight an area. Uh, next we're going to make this selection a little prettier. You can tell that it's a little bit rough on the edges. So you go to modify smooth boundary or hit the B key. All right. And uh, that looks pretty good. I like that. So I'm going to hit accept. And now I've got a highlighted region with a nice smooth boundary. And I'm going to delete that again. I'm going to use the X key or uh, select a discard from under the edit menu. So let's just hit X and then we've made a little hole there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom and uh, you can see that there's uh, there's this little free floating uh, uh, piece of geometry. This is part of probably some pulmonary artery that we don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, hit E to expand and hit X to delete it. Uh, next uh, we will uh, get this stuff down here which is uh, actually part of the uh, looks like the trachea, um, but uh, we're going to create a big hole in the bottom uh, that will eventually be uh, 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 aiding us to hollow the sound. I'm going to select a bunch of this stuff. Now, one of the things that you can do in Mesh Mixer is you can expand your selection so that you can, whatever you have selected, you can kind of grow it out uh, by um, one layer. And to do that, <clears throat> you go to Modify 
expand ring. And you can see that you can also use the kind of the like the greater than uh, symbol. Uh, so if you want to use your keyboard, hit shift and hit that key and you can see that your your ex your selection starts to expand. So uh, that's a little bit easier than repeatedly clicking on uh, on this thing. Uh, just use your keyboard. So hold down the shift key and you can expand your selection and let's just kind of grow it until we get a a big hole that uh, we kind of like there. So uh, that's, that's I should say that's going to be our hole. Now we're going to make this uh, pretty by using smooth boundary again. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to accept that. So now all of the orange stuff is uh, what we've um, selected and we're going to delete that selection by hitting the X key or um, going to, where is it, edit, discard. Okay, so now we've got this big hole in the top. We have a big hole in the bottom of our model. And you can actually see that this the CAT scan uh, it captured a lot of internal um, structure that we we couldn't even tell. This thing right here is the nasal cavity. Look at that. You can you can see that it goes in the nose. And these are the this is the nasal cavity uh, that is actually from this person's head, and you can't see it. So the palate and all that all those internal structures that we didn't even know were there on the outside are there. So I'm going to, uh, but for the purpose of this model, I don't want that. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to use use the select tool again. I'm going to say allow back faces. I'm just going to kind of select a bunch of this stuff over here and uh, then uh, maybe a little over here and then I'm going to expand that selection again. Uh, and uh, let's, let's clear that. Let's try that again. Just uh, select this stuff and expand that selection using the uh, shift and open caret key and uh, let's smooth that boundary accept that and we'll delete this structure so hit the X key there we go so that's uh, that's deleted we still have the nasal cavity but that's not too bad um, this what what is this thing you see this little worm like thing that's coming in there and there's another one on the other side well if you look at that this is actually the the auditory canal it's the ear uh, on both sides you can see that right in there um, so uh, for the purpose of our 3d printed model we do not need that kind of detail that detail is anatomically there it's really there in a real person but we don't need that so I've got this allow back faces checked I'm gonna select there and I select that stuff maybe this stuff we're gonna get rid of all this okay so uh, again using that uh, shift and the uh, open sign and we'll kind of expand that. That looks pretty good. Smooth the boundary, accept the smooth boundary and delete that with the X key. Okay, so now we've uh, we've uh, made um, trimmed our structures on the inside. We want to kind of close up these holes so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, double click on the edge here and uh, hit the F key to create the face. Erase and fill, or the F key, boom. Accept that, looks good, same thing here. Double click on this edge, hit the F key, accept. And this one's a little harder to get, I'm gonna kinda go to the top here. Double click, F. Except okay, so now we've got the inside of our model all cleaned up. We have these two gaping holes at the top and on the bottom, and we are ready to try and turn this into a hollow shell. And let's just select some part of it, hit Control A to expand that selection and select everything. <clears throat> okay, and uh, so everything that's selected is now an orange, which is everything, and uh, let's go ahead and modify this um, we are going to do an offset so go to the edit and under edit select offset or you can hit control D 
and select that. And what will happen is Mesh Mixer will think for about a minute or two. This this may take a little bit of time, uh, so it can take a uh, you know a few minutes. And uh, uh, what it will do is it will create an offset where it it creates a duplicate of this that's maybe one or two or whatever you specify millimeters in thickness, um, and then that will become the exterior surface and this original mesh will become the interior surface of our new model. So let's take a little bit of a break and uh, we'll come back in a minute or two when this operation is finished because uh, it's a little time consuming and boring and um, so I'll see you in, in just a few. Okay here we are we're back again and the operation has completed and you can see that we have two shells uh, we have um, kind of an outer shell and an inner shell and right now they're not connected they're sort of uh, one inside the other and uh, that's because on the offset uh, menu we need to make sure that we have this connected uh, checked <clears throat> so uh, if it doesn't uh, look like it's checked on your version of mess mixture go ahead and check that and then um, and then it might have to reprocess again hopefully this won't take too long Okay, we're back. Uh, that operation took about another minute. And you can see that now the outside and the inside uh, shells are connected. We checked this connected box here. And when we did that, uh, Mesh Mixer had to reprocess a bit. You can see there, there we go. And so now what we have is we have a shell that is uh, one inside the other. This one is uh, 2.57 millimeters. You can, of course, set this to whatever you want. Um, depending on your printer or your desired thickness, but uh, you have a perfect, um, a perfectly th uh, thick and uh, hollow replica of your original model, and we can go ahead and accept that, and uh, that should be about it. So uh, that is how you use Mesh Mixer to uh, create a hollow model. To go ahead and clear that selection. Uh, go and create a hollow model of your uh, of your uh, skin STL file, and you can see that because this is new geometry that's been added, uh, Mesh Mixer codes it blue, but that's okay. We can go to analysis and just make sure that it's all ready to go for uh, 3D printing. So there's a couple small things to fix; those are auto repaired, and we are now ready to uh, ready to 3d print this as a hollow shell so hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you like it go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up uh, please subscribe I'll be um, sending out a variety of new medical 3d printing tutorials uh, showing you how to do things with free and open source software and uh, thanks very much and happy 3d printing